You want to keep the knee slightly bent and make sure that you don't move from the upper body. The upper body stays in a straight position, core is tight. Uh, we're starting with a uh, under grip, so you're using the bicep a little bit more, that's the little bump, um, and then switch to uh, um, basically hammer curl or roll. So we're using the bar here, Katie demonstrates the rolls very really quick. Uh, important to keep the shoulder away from your ear, keep it back and down, nicely packed. Uh, don't go too far. Heidi has a lot of shoulder mobility, so she goes a little bit uh, further than most people can. Um, so you want to stay parallel to your upper body or slightly past. Do a couple more. So shoulder blades, squeeze them back together and down. Shoulders back and down. If you have a lot of mobility, you can pack the shoulders here, you can go slightly past. So we're using um, this little device here, so instead of going from under grip, you go to a more hammer curl position, which uh, uses the uh, brachialis a little bit more. Uh, another thing is, you're going to have, compared to the uh, to the bar before we grip a little wider you have a little bit more narrow grip so we have a shift from biceps to brachii and also instead of from the latissimus dorsi which creates the v-shape we go have a little more tension between the shoulder blades so middle lower upper traps rhomboids etc so do we do a roll maybe so she does it uh, nice and uh, clear and clean here shoulders packed um, full extension and then chest out. Uh, another thing that she does, she picks the net head nice and clean. Uh, a lot of people that um, they move forward with the head, so keep the um, pec, neck packed, lower back stays straight, core tight, and shoulders back and down.